Now come to a problem of uh, calculating potential and work and kinetic energy and velocity. Um, let's take a proton that's near a plate that has a potential of 25 kilovolts and there's a, uh, another plate in the system that will assign zero volts to that. Um, this would tie in with the OpenStack's physics book in chapter 19 and the uh, uh, electrostatics material. Um, we want to calculate this kinetic energy. Well, we know work gives an object kinetic energy. How can we calculate the work? We've seen this really before. Work is the charge multiplied by the change of potential that the object goes through. Uh, the work is going to be a positive number here as uh, the, the proton is going to pick up uh, energy, pick up speed. So I simply multiply the charge on the proton, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs, by the potential difference, 25 kilovolts, and switching it to standard unit of volts, I end up with 4 times 10 to the minus 15 joules, not a lot of, uh, of energy. And again, the work is positive because the kinetic energy increased. And feel free to pause the video at any point here and uh, review the calculations. Um, the kinetic energy can be used to calculate the speed of the proton. The kinetic energy is one half mv squared. We're doing a non-relativistic calculation. Not going to be moving fast enough where we need to employ uh, special relativity. So the energy, 4 times 10 to the minus 15 joules is kinetic energy. 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms is the proton's uh, mass. The velocity is our unknown. I can calculate the square of the velocity and then take a square root. I get 2.19 times 10 to the 6 meters per second. And again, speed of light is 3 times 10 to the 8th. We're underneath 10% of the speed of light, so we won't bother using special relativity. We'll do that later in the course. Uh, another way to express this kinetic energy would be the electron volt unit. Uh, the proton's carrying one unit of charge. It's a plus, where the electron is a negative, but uh, for this energy calculation, we really don't bother with whether the charge is plus or minus. Is it uh, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs? Then we get one unit. If it would be 3.2 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs, that would be two units of charge, and we'd have to put a 2 in uh, this calculation. But one unit of charge, so multiply that by the potential difference, and we'd find 2.5 times 10 to the fourth electron volts of uh, energy. Um, going a little bit uh, further down here, so you can see this calculation of the uh, energy in electron volts. Just how many units of charge times the potential difference gives the electron volts. And then uh, if I want to convert this back into joules, maybe as a double check, um, 2.5 times 10 to the fourth electron volts. So there's a conversion factor between joules and electron volts. 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules is one electron volt. So I get the same uh, uh, energy I had before in joules, 4 times 10 to the minus 15. Um, now let's calculate the electric field strength between the two plates. Uh, in a uniform field, we can just go ahead and do this calculation. The electric field strength is the potential difference divided by the distance between the plates. We said the plates were 50 centimeters apart, so I changed that to 0.5 meters. And we get 5 times 10 to the fourth volts per meter for this uh, electric field. And then what would be the potential 15 centimeters away from the plus plate? Well, our change in potential is going to be our electric field here, 5 times 10 to the uh, fourth volts per meter, multiplied by the number of meters we are away. That's the 0.15 uh, meters. So we've moved down in potential 7.5 times 10 to the third volts. 7.5 times 10 to the third volts is our calculated potential, just doing electric field times distance. And I started at 25 kilovolts, we're moving down 7.5 kilovolts. We end at 17.5 kilovolts for our potential at this location. Oh, that's an example problem regarding uh, two plates with uniform electric field, calculating work, calculating kinetic energy and speed, and calculating potential at some place in between the two plates.